mist was surrounding my old man's boat. There's something hidden inside. Sucked him down to a watery grave. <laughs> yes, that's a, that's a lovely memory, Arthur. <laughs> nah, he was all right, he was. Never laid a hand on us, neither. Hard worker, too. Bloody fool to be fishing in these waters. True. So we have a few hours on Murphy and his men, right? Ronnie said they wouldn't be here by morning. Get the crates. Get the hell out of here. No trouble, right, Willie? It's fine by me. Did you bring your crucifix? Of course. Oopsie Daisy. Did you hear that? I. What was it? Arthur's old fella. Coming back to give him a clatter. <laughs> There's worse things out here than running into my old dog. I hate these waters. I suggest we keep our mouths closed from here on in. Wake me up when we get there. <clears throat> we must be out of our bleeding minds. Please down, please. Or I'll cut your bleeding head off. What are we gonna do now? No killing, you said, no trouble. We was gonna knock him out with this. And have him get up and kill us. You must be daft. You've no idea what you've just done. They've cornered the marker for too long. This is our time. We're going to be rich. You stupid cow! Will you just get the crate side by side? Just do it now. <laughs> Listen, you. I've done foolish things in my life, but I've never put anyone in arms way to make a profit. And what you've done here... You. We go. Now. With her, without her. May as well get what we came here for. Arthur! Have you lost your balls? No, but look, it's right here! Listen, if we go now, we can still go unnoticed. Yeah, and empty-handed. You don't get it at all, do you? If we stay here, we're as good as dead. He wasn't so hard, was he? <laughs> Come on. We don't have all day. You know, not everyone is the boss of me. Hey, come on. Let's just get it over with. Willie. Willie! What now? Get the yolks out of the crate and into the cage. <laughs> I suppose they're just going to line up and waltz in there of their own accord. Hey, look at this. What are we supposed to do with that? Put it in their mouths. Stop them from biting us. What? Look, we'll open up the crates. When they jump out, we'll shove this in their mouth. Put them in the cage. We'll fill up the cage, anchor the case to the boat, drag them back to the mainland. Won't they drown? <laughs> <laughs> Go 
on, boys. Nothing to worry about. You got it? Ready? Careful. All right. What's happening? It's horrible. Arthur? There's a foot in here. Very bloody odd. A foot? It's not going to fetch much at market, is it, Willie? A foot? Bloody hell. You darling, did you hear that? But you got a new friend there, Willie. Oh. What if I got infected? What if I'm what if I'm infected? What oh. if I turned into one of those things? Come on, calm down. It's just let's have a look. Look at that. <laughs> oh, go on, laugh it up. Well, you know, it's pretty. One, two, three. Four and five. I reckon that's five dead I'm selling tonight. Go on, get out of it. I blame all of this on you, Arthur. Me? No one dragged you here. You and that Fanny have ruined me. That bite has me all peculiar. Bring poor old Fanny into it. What are we going to do now? I have a backup plan. Go on. No. No. Excuse me, Mr. Murphy. Perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I like the arrangement we have now, Arthur Blake. You, tied to that cage, as I strap it to me boat and drag you along the seabed for the journey home. I just thought you might need an extra man now that you down Mr. Bolger and all. I'd rather sell your wet corpse. Arthur, you weasel. Just go along with me. A rat leaving a sinking ship, is it? That's the one. Very honorable. Now, where was the honor in trying to rob me of me loot and going and killing my good mate, Bulger? Oh, well, it wasn't really the intention, you see, Cornelius. We are just trying to make a few quid, is all. Tell me, Mr. Blake. Do you like your trade? I suppose so. It's a bit messy, isn't it? Well, let me tell you, I love this trade, Mr. Blake. And I come from a very long line of ghouls. So you see, I take a great deal of pride in what I do. So when a sleeve in like yourself comes along and thinks he can cross me, well then, that's when I get angry, Mr. Blake. And Grimes, you should have known better! Oh, now, Cornelius, don't be like that. I was just long for the salt there. Valentine, 
Why don't you show him your face? You're gonna kiss and make up. Cause I don't want a rock is in here, not before midnight. What are you looking at? You was gonna turn your back on old Willie. No, I was just saying that. I had a plan. A plan? You was all set to join the house of Murphy. And forget about me. Me. Who taught you everything? Well, I had to say something. What do you want from me? Very, very disappointed in you, oh, Arthur. You're disappointed? Yeah. Oh, well, likewise. And what about poor old Fanny? <laughs> Fanny. <laughs> that daft cow. She got what she deserved. Is that all you can say? It was all her idea. Or was it? You know, she always said you were a coward. She said I should go it alone. Well, you are going it alone, mate. Enough is enough. Fine. Great. Good riddance. Fine, then. You know, I'll probably do a lot better on my own, I think. Fine! Get out! Fine! Get out! Fine! Get out! Get out. Good no, night, get sir. Get out! Fine, And that's how me and Willie left it. Arguing like a pair of old women. What a way to end one of the great friendships. A week went by. Here I am. She killed Cornelius Murphy. Not my style, Father. Well, then it was Grimes that struck him down. It was Fanny that did the killing. We just left Cornelius and Valentine to it. So you just left him to die? Oh, I. Now here I am. An innocent man. Waiting for the guillotine. Oh, none of us is innocent, Mr. Blake. No, I've listened to your tales, and you're... you're far from innocent. In fact, I think the guillotine is too good for you. Grimes was lucky... to have avoided me. Well... It's very nice to make your acquaintance, Mr. Murphy. Disappointed in your son. All that training, get struck down by two commoners like Grimes and myself. You're not common, Mr. Blake. In fact, you're quite rare. It's not every day you meet someone who's about to spend the rest of their days in agony. You best hurry up, so I'll be under the blade in a few minutes. No. You won't be seeing the guillotine. You're not as lucky as your friend. I've made other arrangements for you. <laughs> 